Hey guys, it's Becky Bamboo. Today is Monday, September 27th, 2010. Uh, this is my official week 13 update. Um, first, I want to say I'm so cold today. I'm freezing. We went from our temperatures being in the 90s last week to uh, it's not even just going to hit 70 today. It's going to be in the 60s today, um, which, <laughs> which is a big drop, <laughs> you know, from... It actually, let's see, it was, uh, was it Friday? I think it was Friday. It was still pretty hot, like right around 90. And then the weekend it dropped off. I've been cold all weekend. I've been sitting in um, pants and hoodies and it's just, it's weird. That's usually how it works. It seems like um, lovely Midwest, we, our seasons jump back and forth and um, you never know what the temperature is going to be like in any in, in, in any given season. It may be uh, weird. It's just I don't know. It's weird. So uh, okay, official week thirteen weigh in. Um, I had my Ruin Y gastric bypass on June twenty eighth, two thousand ten. Um, I started my journey at four hundred twenty four pounds. Um, last week I weighed in at 324 pounds for a total loss of 100 pounds. Today I <laughs> remain at 324 pounds. I have not gained any, I have not lost any, and I am so disappointed. Um, I've been wondering for the last few weeks, what's it going to be like when I hit a zero? What's it going to be like if I gain? How? What am I going to do? What, like, you know, I think I... <laughs> I think I've been fretting about it a little too much. That's what I think. Um, to, to reward my thoughts, I guess that's what's happened. Um, so I, I did not lose any weight this week. Um, I maintained my 100-pound loss, which is good. I, I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. That's a good thing. Um, but I'm disappointed, and I'm confused. I know that I ate pretty well this week. This has been one of my better weeks of eating this last week. And um, so that's confusing to me. Um, protein was good this week. Fluids were great this week. Um, exercise. I, the, the only My only question of what... Um, uh, why, why I've not lost any this week is the exercise. Um, I went from doing um, elliptical and walking, kind of switching back and forth, um, three to four nights a week, to um, I did lots of swimming this week. I did water aerobics two nights, plus, um, let's see, Monday, so Monday night I did water aerobics for an hour plus 35 minutes of swimming and then I did an hour and five minutes of swimming Tuesday night and then I did um, another hour of water aerobics Wednesday night Thursday and Friday I took off Saturday um, I did five miles on a bike which I have not done in six years <laughs> I've not ridden my bike in six years and then yesterday we did um, a nice long outside walk so I've been working, I've been exercising, I've been eating, I've been getting my protein, I've been getting my fluid, I've been following the rules. Um, so why did I lose zero this week? Is it because I shocked my body from going from walking so much and doing the elliptical, which we all know the elliptical burns like ridiculous amount of calories, um, to doing uh, the swimming and stuff? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It's confusing to me. Um, and it makes me feel like I need to do more. I need to do more. Um, I'm not going to give up water aerobics. I enjoy it. It's um, it's a social outlet for me because I have friends in the class, and um, I I work I work at home. I don't see people, uh, you know, very often at all. Um, I'm I'm a, I'm sitting at this desk with Pink Panther behind me. Um, eight, nine, ten hours a day, um, five days a week. So I don't have a lot of like social time with, you know, like if you worked in the office, you'd have time to chit chat at lunch and uh, I'm by myself at lunch. It's me and the animals. So um, I'm not going to give up water aerobics uh, no matter if I'm burning less calories or not because I need that social outlet. I need that in my life and I enjoy it. Um, but I start to question um, my swimming on the other nights of the week. 
uh, Tuesday nights are nights that Jared will do his rock climbing. And I guess before I was going and doing the walking track or I would ride the elliptical at the same gym that he was going to. Um, I don't, I hate, I would, I hate to give up swimming. It's something that I enjoy, um, but at the same time, I don't think I'm getting the same level of workout that I get uh, on the elliptical. Um, I do push myself in the pool, but it's a lot, it's just a lot different kind of workout. And so here are my thoughts. I'm, I'm starting to think maybe I need to do a split workout in order to not have to give up swimming, but be able to get the benefit of doing the elliptical as well is do a 30 to 40 minute elliptical ride and then go get in the pool for another 30 or 40 minutes of swimming. Um, you know, that makes for a long workout that makes for, a, you know, pretty long workout, well over an hour workout. And, um, I think that's okay. I think I can, I mean, I know I did an hour and 35 minutes Monday night last week, so I know I can handle doing a lengthier workout. Um, especially if I'm splitting it up between two different activities. Um, I don't know. It just, I'm really like, racking my brain today to try to figure out why I lost zero this week. What what would be the difference between what I did this last week and what I did the week before? And eating wise, I ate so much better this last week than I did the week before. It's a lot more home cooked stuff. The week before it was more eating out. Um, it, it's very interesting to me. This whole like the, the, trying to find the balance and you know I always say I can tell like a difference on the scale the weeks that I work out harder than the weeks that I like miss the gym or I miss days of the gym or I'm only going once or twice um, I did, I pushed really hard at the gym last week and I, I've gotten a zero today so um, I don't know I really don't know what it is um, but I am extraordinarily frustrated with it. I'm not disappointed. I'm not upset. I'm not angry. I'm just frustrated. Um, is it, I know this is a part of the process. I know part of the process is having weeks where we don't lose. Uh, probably part of the process is having weeks where we gain. Um, I have not experienced that yet. This is the first week since I've started that I've literally lost none. Um, I'm not, I, I can't allow myself to be sad about this though, because the thing is, I've lost a hundred pounds in three months, a hundred pounds, and I've maintained it, you know, I didn't gain any this week, so I'm not allowing myself to be mad, um, I just find it very ironic that as soon as I hit a hundred, I hit a stall, um, and maybe it's just going to be a one week thing for my body to catch up, and it, it'll drop back off next week. I don't know. Um, I don't want to be obsessive about that number on the scale. Um, I want to continue to work hard and, um, you know, but at the same time, I can't, I think I would be lying if I said that that zero didn't affect me in the way that it makes me want to push harder, uh, because it does. So, you know, I don't know. I want some suggestions. That's what I'm looking for in this video is some suggestions. What do you guys think's going on? You know, there's a lot of you who are further out than me who maybe have a better understanding of um, the workout situation and calories, eating. I don't count calories. I have not counted calories since I started. I count my protein. Um, I measure out my foods for the most part. Um, and that's about it. Um... I don't really want to have to start counting calories because I wouldn't even know how many calories to try to shoot for eating. Um, I, I know I don't eat very many calories in a day. I probably eat 500 calories a day um, just because I don't eat very much. I don't snack. I eat three meals a day um, and that's forcing myself to eat three meals a day. Um, there's, there's plenty of days I only eat two meals because I don't eat breakfast. Um, I'm not a breakfast eater. It takes a lot for me to get to, to make myself do that. Um, even if it's just some, you know, dry cereal or whatever. I just, 
I am not hungry when I get up in the morning and the last thing on my mind is eating. Um, so it's a challenge. I just don't, I guess I need suggestions of, um, what, what, what should, what is, do you guys think that it's because I, did I shock my body from going from all this elliptical working out to, um, being in the pool last week? Did, is that what it was? Just, a was it a shock to my body to do such a different kind of workout? Um, did I not burn as much, do you think, as what I had been burning? Um, I know on the elliptical I burn a lot of calories. I mean, you know, it tells you on there, like, uh, you put in your weight and it tells you how many calories you burn at the end of your workout. And I know I burn a lot. I don't have a really clear idea of how much I'm burning during aerobics or during um, swimming. Um, I know my level of intensity in swimming is not what it once was. I can't, um, before I was swimming just over a mile in an hour in the pool. And uh, I'm definitely, I, I'm not at that level yet. Um, and swimming is more challenging now than it was um, at 424 pounds. Uh, I have a little less buoyancy and uh, I find I have to work a little harder. So it's definitely, um, there, there's a different dynamic in swimming than what there once was. So I do work hard. I'm just not sure I'm working as hard as what I do on an elliptical. I'm not sure because I don't have a real way to track that. Um, so yeah, I guess I just need some suggestions from you guys. Uh, a part of me that says this week, why don't I just go back to, um, I'll do aerobics two nights and the other nights I'm going to do the elliptical and let's see what the weight loss shows. Because maybe it is that swimming is the, is the weird factor in this. But at the same time, I, I don't want to give up swimming because I enjoy it. Um, I really do enjoy it. Um, so anyway, I may just have to do some mixed up nights and do some elliptical and some swimming. And um, I guess that's okay if that's what I have to do. Um, I just want to see no zeros. <laughs> next week, I want next week to not be a zero, even if it's one. One is still progressing in the right direction. Stalling out at 100 pounds lost is like very frustrating because I still have another 120 to go, basically. Um, oh, God, it's frustrating. Now, I guess it's even more than that. I have another 124. Oh, God, I don't know, 130, something like that. Um, it's a long way away. Let's just say that. Um, I would love to keep dropping numbers like in the fives every week. It, you get there. I could get there fairly quickly if I kept doing that, but yeah, what well, it is, what it is. I can't, I just, I can't let myself be sad about this. That's the only thing is I just refuse to let myself be sad. I worked hard. I worked out. I work a lot of hours. Um, you know, it's just, it is what it is, I guess. Um, so anyway, that's my week 13 update. It's not, it's not real exciting and real special, but, um, it's all part of the process. And I understand that. I understand that we have weeks where we don't lose. I understand there'll be weeks where we gain. I get it. I'm, I'm not oblivious to that. Uh, it just makes it difficult that I haven't had to go through that yet. Um, so I, I just, I guess I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to figure out what the balance is. How much do I need to work out? What kind of workouts do I need to be doing? Um, do I need to be counting calories? Do I need, I just don't think that I'm mentally prepared to start doing the calorie counting just at this moment. Um, because I don't know that it's going to make a big difference. I don't eat very much anyway. So um, I think, I think the main thing lies within the amount of physical activity that I do. Um, and I guess that means I need to kick it up a notch, huh? Um, so I, anyway, I don't know. I just thought I would, uh, share my thoughts on all this and ask for your thoughts on my, my, uh, frustration issue with zero loss this week. So I know this is a long video, a lot of rambling. I just have a lot of thoughts in my head today and, um, I appreciate that you watch and for anybody who responds, I appreciate it. Um, just because it is a... It's a frustrating day for me. So um, anyway, that's that. I hope everybody's doing well. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye. Mwah.